From the trading floor in the NYMEX, I'm Jill Malandrino for The Street. And Mike, we have a pretty quiet day on the floor with so many kids out from school and therefore <laughs> parents off the desk. Failing to hold that 53 level from Friday, what are your thoughts here? My thoughts of trade technically, like we talked about it last week, I think we're in a range. I think for, last week we got down to 48.05, I believe, was the low in the spot month. And I'm looking at 48, $48 to $55. That type of range going forward is something that I'm looking at. So outside of all fundamentals, because until the supply glut is resolved, we're really going to be stuck in this range. Technical fundamentals are out the window. Should it break that 40 or 55? Is that your signal to either get short or long here? Absolutely. But I, keep in mind, I, I wouldn't get short until we settle below those levels. You know, and in between, it's kind of tough to trade. You know, the machines are on. I mean, the, the algos are out there looking to get you off your market. But I would try to stay true to those technicals and look at settlements versus just a daily thing because we could break below those numbers and then you get a head fake and everybody gets short and you get caught down there and it comes right back. Fundamentally, do you think anything changes soon? Because in January we're talking about being the later stages of the game and it feels like it's continuing to drag out. Uh, you know what? I think as we get closer to the spring and the, the summer driving season, if you look at those cracks, you know, they're, 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 that's the difference between the price of the finished product and the crude. They're staying, staying relatively strong. So, I, I, you know, today they're off. But, I mean, I, I think if you keep your eye on those cracks... And they're going to give you an indication of where we're going to go. Because if you look at the summer driving season, those cracks are still over 20 bucks. So I, I think that'll help us stay in this range and not totally break down. And I think we'll trade towards the higher half of that range in crude near $55. Okay, thanks very much, Mike. You got it, Jeff. From the trading floor of the NYMEX, I'm Jill Melandrino for The Street.